that the basic principle of temporal spectroscopy is dependent on the vibrational energy level. There is a transition occurs between the vibrational energy in case of the infrared spectroscopy. As we see in case of the EMP spectroscopy, there is a change in the electronic energy level. Now, there are IR is mainly divided into three regions, very IMP regions. And it is very as for very complicated exams. So what are the ranges for each region? The range is 0.2 to 2.5 micron. Actually, remember the unit of IR. In case of it is expressed in the micrometer or in case of the wave number, that is centimeter inverse. This is the unit for the wavelength. This is the unit for wave number. IR is expressed in case of the wave number because wave number is directly proportional to energy. That's why in IR we generally will take the wave number because there are a lot of number of the in lot that much number of uh, small numbers, uh, large numbers in the wavelength region. That's why. They are generally expressed in case of the wave number. Now we see there are mainly three types of regions in the IR. This is the near IR that is between 0.8 to 2.5 micron. This is the mid IR between 2.5 to 15 micron. This mid IR is called a real disk. Mainly our IR spectra or the IR region is such a located in this region that we are studying IR is always located in between 2.5 to 15 micron. In case of this, this is called as R IR. is always situated between 15 to 200 micron or more than 200. That's what far IR is. This is in case of the wavelength in case of always remember these also because many exams ask what is the mid IR range of the wave number. That's why you have to prepare for both these. Very simple calculation. Remember only one region, simply this region or this region and then interconvert the wavelength with the wave number. How? We have already discussed one formula how to convert wavelength into the wave number. Simple formula Remember, V that is wave number in the CM inverse into lambda that is wave length in the micrometer is equal to 10 raised to 4. Okay? We will have to calculate the wave length from the wave number. We already know what is the uh, wave length. What is the wave length? We suppose we have no 2.5 micrometer is the prevalence, then we have to calculate wave number. How can we get this lambda on the geometer side? Then we get n is to 4 divided by 2.5. Then 2.5 do this calculation, we get 1 divided by 2.5 into n is to 4. That is 2.5 into 1 is equal to 0.4 into 10 raised to 4 that will be 4,000 CL inverse that is this answer for 2.5 if you calculate this for this we get this centimeter inverse we have number this is simple calculation based on these formulas remember this simple formula Lambda in the universe, lambda in the micrometer will tend to go. If we have the value is given for uh, wave number, then calculate for lambda. If this is given for wave length, then calculate for the wave number. This is the simple regions of the IR. Three regions near, mid, and far IR. Always remember, these regions are commonly called as lambda. Near IR is called Overcom region. This is very important for the complexity exam. 
CC obeys the SP hybridization. C double bond C is the SP2 hybridization and this is SP3 hybridization. SP hybridization in this S have 50% bond division, P have 50%. That's why in this case S have 50%, in this case uh, S have 20%. In this case S have 50% contribution. Remember as S orbital K increase, there is the closeness of atom increase S is the electronegative S orbital is the electronegative as we increase the S orbital contribution the electronegativity get increased that's why bonds get more stronger remember this reason very happy because of increasing S contribution bond get more stronger because of S electronegative of the S orbital that's why C triple bond C we have the higher force constant because of the stronger bond than the C double bond C than C single bond C. That's why C triple bond C will occur at the same number 2150. C double bond C in the 16,500 and C single bond C around 1200. How many number we differentiate in the stronger the bond, the stronger the bond, the energy required to get vibration will be more in there, there is the more in the wave number. Because wave number is directly proportional to the energy. That's why energy required to get vibration is more, then wave number also more in these three cases. But what see we have the higher wave number than the double bond and the single. This is about the case. Or in other words, if we see, if you remember hybridization effect on the K, if you see C triple bond is C here, if you see the C double C here, C triple bond is C here, if you this, C for C here, double bond is C here, single bond is C here. Carbon is attached to double bond, carbon is attached to double bond. What is the wave number of DCH, DCH and DCH? Under the DCH, we have wave number around 3300, this around 3100, this around 2100. Why because? Because we have already discussed this. Yes, is bonded with the sp hybridization. This is sp2. This is sp3. As the contribution of the s orbital get increased, there is a increase in the stronger the stronger the bond. That's why they, in this case, bond constant is more as compared to this. This is we talk about CS. What is the effect of this sp the hybridization on the CS bond? This is his of force constant. Now you will see what is the impact of induced mass. See these examples. I have certain examples with me. C C H This is H. As we increases 
the mass of this attachment H due to this increase H now the molecular mass 1 carbon now 12 as we increase the mass the value number it decreases as we increase the mass oxygen oxygen now 16 Zeri also decreases the value number hence the G is inversely proportional to the reduced for mass. That's why as we increase as mass, see these cases, chlorine now, when chlorine is attached to carbon, it drops 800 cm in watts. When attached to bromine, it drops 650. Because chlorine is now 35, in case of bromine, it drops 81, in case of iron, it drops 138. As we increase the mass of attached atom, there is a decrease in the value number. Always remember the Hooke's law. Hooke's law says what, how will we differentiate various functional group according to this equation. This is mainly two parameters that is post constant and the reduced mass. This reduced mass is calculated by M1 into M2, M1 plus M2. M1 is the, see example, M1 is the mass of carbon, M2 is the mass of chlorine. Then put the value of this and calculate this equation. Okay, this is the simple Hooke's law that I use in the IR spectroscopy. We are already talked about that. This also present in the form of PPT presentation, but I think the, the way we which uh, watching on the board that can be more beneficial for you get the conceptual clear. But see both these presentations on PPTR and on board. This is about books.